In this video, we look at bits, bytes, and unit representation. We live in an analog world. And by that, we mean that everything is represented by sinuous waves that progress slowly from one state to another. Imagine turning on a light bulb. Although it may look instantaneous as we turn the light bulb on and off, the light would actually gradually get brighter and then gradually dim as we turned it off. And this would be represented by this curved wave. However, computers operate in the digital world and digital signals operate very differently. Effectively, the same analogy here of a light bulb would switch instantaneously from on to off. With computing devices, the fundamental unit of information is the bit. There is no smaller unit. A binary digit or bit is simply represented by a zero or a one. Having just two states makes it simpler to build electronic devices. In RAM, data can be represented using capacitors that either hold a charge, and we could use a one to represent that, or don't, we could use a zero. Having additional states would make the components more difficult to build and more prone to error. Data being stored on hard disks can be done using magnetism. The north and south polarities can be used to represent the two binary states, 0 and 1. Data is stored on an optical disk in a way that causes light from a laser to be refracted in different ways. The difference in how the light reflects off the surface of the disk, again, can be used to represent the binary states 0 or 1. And finally, solid state media stores data by trapping or freeing electrons. Again, we have two states, so we can represent these with the binary digits 0 or 1. So, what exactly is a given binary bit pattern? Here is a sequence of bits known as a bit pattern 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. And as we've mentioned, these are just a computer's way of representing a change in state. So let's imagine the zeros are representing a period of time when we receive a low voltage, and the ones are a period of time when we receive a high voltage. So what is low, high, high, low, low, high, high, low voltage signal? What does it represent? Well, the answer is. It all depends. You can't possibly know what a bit pattern represents until you know how to interpret that bit pattern. There we just saw a sequence of eight binary digits, 01100110, being fed through the ASCII character set. When interpreted in that way, they represent the lowercase character f. The same bit pattern, the same eight binary digits, when interpreted as assigned binary integers and two complement, gives us the decimal number 102. When interpreted as a black and white image, what we'd get is a sequence of eight white and black pixels. The same sequence being interpreted as a typical 24 bit color image would now simply give us the information we need for the value for green, red, or blue of a single pixel. And if we thread this through a digital to analog converter, it would actually give us part of an analog waveform, which could then be output through a speaker. With only two values available, 0 and 1, it's important to understand how many different values can be represented with a given number of n bits. There are 2n possible variations with n bits. 
So for example, three bits can be arranged in two to the power of three or eight different ways. And we can see a table here that represents the number of possible combinations which can be represented dependent on the number of bits. And you can see it doubles each time. So if we have four bits, there are 16 possible combinations. With five bits, we now have 32 possible ways of arranging these. And with six, we have 64, and so on and so forth. When describing quantities of bytes, we can use both binary prefixes representing powers of two, and we can use decimal prefixes representing powers of 10. The first four rows here in each table are the ones you need to be aware of for the exam. The ones in grey here are increasingly bigger sizes. Now be careful here, people often use the terms kilobyte and megabyte when what they really mean is kibibyte and mebibyte. And this is a common accepted misconception which has fallen into common use. But in the exam, you must appreciate the difference between. A megabyte is exactly one million. And it's the decimal base 10 representation. A mebibyte, on the other hand, is the base 2 binary representation. And it is precisely 1,048,576. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key questions. What is the fundamental unit of information in a computer system? And how do we represent quantities of bytes using binary prefixes representing powers of 2 and decimal prefixes representing powers of 10?